this channel is one month old with two videos only they already have 9000 subscribers their first video upload got nearly half a million views in three weeks this other channel is one month and 22 days old with five videos only and they already have 31,000 subscribers and their first video got over 1.2 million views in one month then we have this third channel with three video uploads 5,000 subscribers and 221 views on their first upload then this one with three video uploads 8,000 subscribers 254 views on their first upload i can go on and on with multiple other examples like this one a new phenomena is happening on youtube even channels with zero subscribers are hitting 1 million views on their first video inspired by tiktok's dopamine method youtube algorithm has changed to heavily favor new channels in this dopamine method, first-time uploaders are being pushed to the front page, producing an influx of views on their first few videos. This provides the creator with a hit of dopamine and a desire to create more content. Consequently, it becomes a win-win situation because more content equals more views, resulting in more money for both the creator and YouTube. And guess what? now is the best time to start growing your youtube channel no matter how small you are i have studied many of these small channels to unravel their success stories and i have found they have these four things in common number one a high cpm niche so cpm or cost per thousand impressions is the amount that advertisers will pay for every thousand ad views some niches have higher CPM than others. For example, topics related to finance, health, and technology tend to have a higher CPM than other niches as discussed in depth in this video. So if you have an interest in any of these areas, it might be worth exploring them as a niche for your channel or any other channel you create in the future. Number two, these channels use eye-catching thumbnails and title so your title and thumbnail are what will make your video to stand out among the millions of others on youtube in relation to click-through rate or ctr these two are essential elements in attracting viewers to click on your video because they are the first thing that your viewers will see when creating them put yourself in the viewer shoe and ask yourself does this make me curious? Does it look interesting? Does this tell me what the video is about? And similar questions. Your title should be short, sweet, and to the point. It should give the viewer an idea of what the video is about and make them curious enough to click on it. Try to use catchy phrases or questions to grab the viewer's attention. Your thumbnail should be visually appealing and relevant to the video's content. It should be clear and easy to read, even in small sizes. Try to use contrasting colors and bold fonts to make your thumbnail stand out. And don't forget to include a clear image or screenshot from your video to give the viewer an idea of what they expect to see. If you have the budget, you can get an AI tool like Creator ML, which offers an A-B testing platform for YouTube video thumbnails and titles, and it will help you determine which one is likely to perform better. Alternatively, you can hire a freelancer on a marketplace like Fiverr or any other place to create these items for you. I know it sounds time-consuming, but take this seriously because it might be the key to growing your channel number three these creators have a high view duration so this is a metric which measures how long your viewers watch your videos on average the longer they watch the better your avd will be and the higher your video will rank in search results and recommendations there are many ways to increase your avd 
such as ensure that your video is informative, entertaining, and valuable to your viewers. That is by try to keep them engaged by using storytelling techniques, visual aids, or keep the pace of your video moving. Another way to do this is by optimizing your video length. YouTube recommends keeping your videos between 8 to 15 minutes long. However, your video length should be based on the topic and the content you're covering. For instance, if you're providing a detailed tutorial, that would mean you need a longer video which explains everything thoroughly. On the other hand, if you are doing a product review, you only need a few minutes to get the point across. Another technique to increase your AVD is using a hook at the beginning of the video. So a hook is a short phrase or sentence that grabs the viewer's attention and encourages them to keep watching. So examples of hooks could be bold statements, questions, or a teaser of what is coming in the video. And finally, you can make sure that your video is structured in an easy way to follow by using clear transitions between topics and providing a recap or conclusion at the end. This will help your viewers keep engaged and encouraged to watch your video until the end. Number four, these creators have high video quality. So to take advantage of this current algorithm change on YouTube, it is essential to understand that your videos must be high quality. That means that the content of your video as well as its production should be top notch. Firstly, your video should provide value to your viewer. Whether you are entertaining, educating, or inspiring, the content must be engaging, informative, interesting, and resonating with your target audience. Secondly, the production value of your video is crucial to maintaining your viewer engagement. That includes factors such as lighting, sound quality, camera work, and editing. A well-edited video with smooth transitions and clear audio can make a huge difference in viewers' experience and keeping them until the end. By ensuring your videos are high quality, you will not only increase the chances of the viewers watching the entire video, but also you might improve their chances of ranking higher on such results and getting recommended to more views. This in turn can lead to more engagement, more subscribers, and ultimately more success on the YouTube platform. It's worth noting that creating high quality videos does not necessarily mean spending a lot of money on expensive equipment or software. With a little creativity, great editing skills, resourcefulness, and some basic equipment, you can produce great videos that engage your audience and drive growth to your channel. And guess what? It's not just small channels that benefit from this growth strategy. Even big channel creators have used this new algorithm and seen trouble, tripled income. So what are you waiting for? Check out the links in the descriptions to learn step-by-step -step processes on how to start or grow your YouTube channel. Did you get some value from this video? If you did, share your feedback in the comment section below or show some love by sharing it. Also, you can check the description for more tips and the links mentioned in this video. And finally, remember to subscribe, turn on the notification so that you don't miss all the new videos I'll publish on this YouTube automation case studies series. And until next time, stay safe.